Hi, Paul Williams with Control 4. Welcome to Cedia 2015. We're excited to show you what we've been working on. Let's start first with security. Security is a very important part of home automation because it allows customers to live in their home and feel safe and secure. By linking a security system to a Control 4 system, it takes the security in that home to an entirely new level. By linking that security system and then automating, leveraging the home automation, what we can do is really provide a burglar and friendly environment by making sure that if an alarm goes off, we turn on all the lights or we play audio alarm audio through all the distributed audio system throughout the home, really making that an environment that nobody wants to stick around in and they go away without taking our stuff. What we've done to enhance this is we've come up with a completely new interface. We've reimagined the security experience. And when we go into the alarm panel, this is a brand new view that the customer gets. It's not intimidating. You know, some alarm panels are very intimidating. You'll just look at a keypad with a bunch of numbers. I don't know what it's doing. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. This is really easy because it gives the consumer an easy way to go, you know what, I want to arm the system. I press arm, I press do away, I'll put in my code. And it's going to start. It's going to start to arm the system. Pretty cool stuff. Same thing. If I want to disarm the system, I simply put in my code. Disable the system. Emergency functionality is available right with one click away. I can get to fire, police, or panic very quickly and easily. Cool stuff. We've also made some other cool additions here, which are revolutionary and really quite innovative. A zones view. So we can see every zone that's attached to the alarm panel and see the status of that zone. And that's really cool in and of itself, but there's some other cool features that it has. If that zone is actionable, and by that what I mean is I can open or close that, that uh, contact from here, I can do it from here without having to go to another interface. So let's say that that garage door was actually open and I have control over it through my automation system, I can close it from here, clear the alarm, and come back and set the alarm system. Really cool, it's something nobody else is doing. Another thing is a history view. One of the cool things about the history view is it allows for the customer to be able to see what happened. Most alarm panels show the last event that occurred in the home. It will show maybe that the motion sensor in the family room went off. What this allows us to do is the consumer can go back and see what progressed to get us to that point. I can see there was a glass break sensor that was triggered in the basement, followed by a motion sensor that was triggered in the basement, followed by a motion sensor on the stairs, and then finally a motion sensor in the family room. So the customer gets a lot more, has a more safe and secure feel by knowing exactly what's occurred in their home and can see that there. One of the other things that we're showing here is when it comes along the regards of safety and security are door stations. Door stations are an important part of home security because I need to know who's coming to that front door because I don't know if I want to answer it or not and when I'm away I need to know who came to the door because I also want to understand who's coming there to my home. We have our next generation door stations that we're announcing here at Cedia. They are really cool and have some really cool features. Among them is an independent camera. So the independent camera allows the camera that's in, in within this door station to be viewed from our cameras page and our camera interface, which is a feature that our dealers have been asking for for a long time. It also has an email snapshot. So what can happen is if somebody comes to the door and presses the button, I can have it take a snapshot of who that is, a photo snapshot, and email it to me so I know who came to the door also has motion sensing in it as well so when somebody walks up to the door I can have the front porch lights turn on so that way I can easily see who's there and have that work. They're available in several different form factors. First of all surface mount or flush mount and available with or without a keypad. So this product can actually work at a gate so some homes have gate entrances into them. This product can work at a gate and I can have a key code there that allows me to, to uh, come in the homeowner to be able to access the uh, gate and open the gate or to be able to call the people that are inside of the home within the gate. Pretty cool. One of the other things that we've added is the ability for the consumer to manage their smart locks using mobile devices. And this is a really cool functionality because what it allows them to do is come into the lock and be able to do things like add users and user codes. So let's just say that I'm in New York 
and I understand that there's a plumbing problem at my home and I need to have a plumber get in there to figure out what's going on because I can't fly back from New York to figure it out. But no one has access to the home. From my iPad or from my mobile device, Android or iOS, I can log into my home using our Control 4 system here and, and be able to, from there, create an alarm code or an entry code to that lock just for the plumber that's only active on that day between these hours. And after that time, the code is invalid. That'll allow that person to get access to my home securely, and I know that I'm safe and secure by having them have access to the home. So once again, a cool feature that was added in this, in this uh, release that we're announcing here, which is our OS 2.8 release. It's available now for download, so our dealers all have access to it, access to it right now. We have a brand new entertainment experience that we've been working on and allows us to do some really cool stuff to enhance that entertainment experience. When I go to my music, what you're seeing now is a new grid view. Rich, beautiful, new, high definition cover art for this, the albums that you want to watch or want to listen to. You get that same experience on the My Movies experience. It's a nice new grid view. We've come up with a new search capability that allows the consumer to be able to get easily to what they want to listen to or what they want to watch with a brand new search results that allows them to really focus into what they're looking to watch or listen to. We also announced at the show some really cool new uh, services that we have, streaming services that are available natively to the Control 4 system. Um, those are Tidal, Deezer, and Pandora. Really cool functionality to add these new streaming services, and they're native. It does not require another piece of hardware. It's native to our controllers, and so it allows the uh, consumer to really leverage the purchases they've already made into a Control 4 automation solution. And from there, they can come in here and select Deezer, and what we're getting from that is high-definition audio, which we've also improved, so then we can now stream high-definition audio through these devices. Really big improvements that we've made to the entertainment system. It's one of the things that our consumers are most active in is the entertainment in their home, and we are now accentuating that with really a great new interface for them to interact with their, automa with their automation system. If you want to learn about these products and all of the great solutions and products from Control 4, come see us at Control4.com.